Today I want to talk with you about the collisions and how to avoid them actually because sometimes we don't want some objects to collide with other objects or we don't want them to be in contact anyway. Um, what would be the example of that? Look, I've got the system to open the doors but I want it to be triggered only by the player. But at the moment, if I shoot for example, you can see that my bullet is triggering the door as well. And this is not what I want. I want only my player to be opening the door. So how can we fix it? There are a few ways, but today we will focus on the physics layers uh, because I think this is quite handy to know and to use in our project. If we click on any object like our player, you can see that here we've got the layer section and by default we've got the default layer for our objects but actually we can choose one of the layers that are created by Unity and we can add new layers. So I will decide to create new layer and we can create many of those just to you know categorize some objects on our scene. I think I will create a player, I will create player bullet and maybe I will create player uh, triggers something like that and thanks to that now we can assign objects to those layers for example I will click on our player again and now from the layer menu we will choose player because our player should be on that layer and they asking if all the child objects should be moved to that layer yes we want to do that so it's done and we will override our um, prefab and now I will take the door and we'll move it to the player triggers and yes children as well. Now we need to do that with the bullet so I click on the bullet prefab in the project and set the layer to player bullet. Nice. So it's all done but actually nothing has changed just yet in our game. Everything will work as it did before. So now we should set a special matrix in which we will decide which layers should be connected and where this collision should take place. So let's go to the edit and to the project settings and here we've got physics 2D. Of course we've got normal physics as well but it applies to 3D objects and we want to use physics 2D for now. Here we have another tab so just click on layer collision matrix and here we want to decide which layers should collide with each other and by default we have collisions on all of them but actually we don't want our bullet to collide with player triggers because we want them to be triggered only by the player. So here where we've got player triggers we want to untick the spot where they interfere with the player bullet. So like in here because we don't want player bullet to interfere with player triggers and that's it. So just close it and run the game again. We can move and you can see that the door works great. Now we will shoot and you can see that it works as well. And now you might ask okay but it still doesn't look good. Shouldn't bullet hit the door? Well, probably they should. So we can change that as well because we don't want our bullet to trigger this area but we do want our bullet to hit the door. So what can we do? As you can see the outer object is set to the player trigger layer but actually the moving door we can set to some other layer. Let's say default, why not? And now it should be fine. The outer collider will not collide with the bullet but inner door will because they are set to be on the different layer. So let's press play again and shoot and as you can see everything works fine. Bullets do not open the door but they collide with the door which is great and this is very helpful because you will have a lot of projects where some objects should not interact with other objects and this is the best way to do that.